Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today to discuss this ground truth and airwaves. My name is Clara Rondonu, I'm from Indonesia, and Equatorial is a, pro uh, a project that uh, we have in Indonesia. We just launched it in February, and uh, it is uh, to show the drivers of environmental change in Indonesia. For those of you who's not familiar with Indonesia, it is a, an archipelago in Southeast Asia, a big one. Uh, perhaps you're familiar with Bali. So it's one of uh, islands in Indonesia, but we have so many islands and uh, we have one of the largest rainforests in the world and also one of uh, important uh, marine areas. So, um, this work, Equatoria, was enabled through the generous support of our journalism network, uh, Ecolab, uh, where on giving all the technical support, uh, they already done it in Brazil with Info Amazonia before. So, if you want to like, check out the web, you can go to equatorial.com. And this is our, t our Twitter. Uh, a brief about SIJ, where, um, where this project uh, partnership with EJN. So the Society of Indonesian Journalists is declared in 2006. It is uh, declared by 45 journalists in, Sumat uh, in an area between Aceh and North Sumatra, and it is uh, the, the aim to do that is to empower journalists and enhance their skills in reporting environmental issues. So uh, now, in 2014, we have 400 members across the archipelago. Most importantly, uh, those journalists living next to the natural resources. So. It's not all living centralized in Jakarta. So most of them are living outside Jakarta, outside the, the Java Islands. So in Papua, in Sulawesi, in Borneo, in Sumatra. Um, Hari Suryadi, the, the first director, is now working on uh, this uh, frontline SMS that recruit and train 150 more citizens, journalists living in the most remote areas of Borneo in Pontianak to send news reports to uh, s local media called Ruai TV. While uh, Equatorial in Jakarta also helping journalists understand uh, more techniques to, uh, to put more multimedia in their reports. We also do guide mapping with Willie from our journalism that Journalism Network, the field paper workshop for journalists. So traditionally, this is one of the success that we, ha we have in Indonesia where there's a swamp area called Tripa Pit Swamp in Aceh. Uh, this is a small example of a chaos in Indonesia forest management where uh, after NGOs protest, uh, and journalists do in that reportation like this from uh, the journalists from our society do this um, the task, task force for REDD plus um, which also presidential unit for the development of superficies and control recommended to investigate the case this, so this is the first winning uh, winning uh, where uh, citizens able to sue the government over uh, uh, the, their protected areas. So, so what are the drivers of uh, environmental change in Indonesia? Mostly it's about deforestations, where all the natural resources is, uh, we have. Um, overfishing and land tenure. This is the, pay, uh, this is the website, Equatorial, where you can see uh, the news 
and the map. Uh, the data where there's layers for oil palm plantations and forest concession. Um, such kind of data actually um, captures like uh, basic geospatial information um, that categorize as open information. But the case in Indonesia, you have to pay for like um, this such kind of basic geospatial information. So there's an act uh, from the government that uh, the act on geospatial that stipulates uh, you, a fee can be charged for people who ask for such kind of data. Uh, this is the whole website. Uh, we also have different kind of maps to support our reportations. Uh, there's maps about forest management, fire, forest, uh, for um, ocean commerce, ocean ecology, human impact to ocean, and flood. Most of those data we don't get from the government. I think not from the government of Indonesia. So we got it by the help of lots of uh, mining all data that's here in America. So. Yeah. So these spatial details of um, of geospatial informations that comes from this map maps is provide journalists with a pitch to cover on the ongoing changes of ecosystem by human or by the impacts of nature. Like for example, uh, quite recently, there's activists told me that. They, found, they have a um, success story from Riau. So Riau is where the place, if you see from satellite image, that have the most, um, uh, the largest forest uh, loss in the area between 2000 and 2014. I think the World Resource Institute people would also agree with that. So, um, so they said there's a, there's one particular uh, community that able to save their forest in the middle of a, a conflicting oil palm plantations, and they they are able to do participatory mapping. Um, so, such kind of in informations that makes you wants to go to the field and check by yourself. So behind all of this, uh, but if, if you see, the, this is real. This is real area, where they usually have forest fire and everything. So from, from, if you see from image, uh, satellite imagery, <laughs> it, it won't be possible to imagine there will be a success story coming from that place. Um, but then, Activists, like more than two groups of activists, approach you and say that there is some community left in the middle, being trapped in the middle of that area. So that's what I think journalists really um, need to know and can utilize from this kind of tools that, uh, that we build with Equatorial. So... In, our, uh, in every map, we have different layers, like forestry, concession, moratorium areas, and protected areas. Uh, or like this, we have marine protected areas overlay with shipping lanes. Uh, we have uh, several syndication partners, and most of them are local media, not the mainstream one, because they are the ones who live uh, very close to the natural resource that are uh, facing uh, big changes during the years, during the decades. So it's easy to submit story, uh, customize and share the maps and get the data. This is very valuable for people in Indonesia because uh, again, we have to pay for those kind of data. Yeah, this is the submit story, uh, the look of the submit story page, and 
Yeah, you can also share a map and customize it uh, for your own website. That this will have small media organizations to have uh, visualizations, graphics of what they've been writing about. So, and this is where the look of our data sets. Uh, there's iframe about uh, where we got the, where you can download the data and where, where we got the data. Um, there should also be a license about this and, or you can download from source. Well, thank you everyone. <laughs>